Hello, Jay. This is V from Central New York. Uh, I have been enjoying uh, the various episodes you have put together recently. And um, while I'd probably like to comment on every single one of them, uh, I want to reserve my time now for the comments um, associated with a conversation I was having with a friend. He is a lifelong Democrat and counts himself to be a progressive. We live in a very conservative region of New York State, which is, um, uh, I don't know if a lot of people understand, but if you don't live in the cities uh, and don't live in <clears throat> many of the suburbs that are attached to the cities, you are pretty much in Alabama, Mississippi, and the like. It's very conservative. And he and I were talking about the prospects of the Democrats, especially going forward into 2020, 2022, and 2024. As you know, up here we have a challenger to the sitting Democratic governor who is conservative and Republican, but um, has run under the banner of Democrat because his father was a Democrat. I said to him that the major problem facing Democrats, not only in New York State, but across the country, is that they need to define themselves as more than just not Republican and, to be truthful, not just progressive. Because Progressivism does not have a true sense of what it is. I can go to my bookstores, and I have, and I could purchase dozens of books on conservative ideology. This, these are succinct books where I can read about principles, not ideas, principles, philosophies that conservatives can trace for 200 and 300 and sometimes even 400 years, I can do that. Progressives do not have that. And he and I uh, conversed about this for a couple of weeks. And he came to the conclusion that, yes, uh, this is true. You could find a lot of progressive books on ideas, but not necessarily on philosophy. And I'd like to challenge your listeners. I'd like to challenge your listeners, I think I've maybe mentioned something like this before, um, to maybe suggest to me some books that can lay out the philosophical pin, uh, the underpinnings of progressivism. Where does it come from? How has it evolved? Does it go back 100 years? Does it go back 300 years? And then if that is not the case, then in the next two years, especially younger progressives, I'm talking uh, the under 30 crowd, I would like for the intellectuals among you to take it upon yourself, and I, I guess I shouldn't exclude individuals over 30 because they would have probably the resources and sometimes even the time to do it, but to build that historical, philosophical foundation because, as I've noted before, I feel we're, we are going into a radical time period where progressives really are under threat of being swept away by their uh, lack of foundation. And many progressives right now are flirting with socialism. They don't understand a lot of the philosophical underpinnings, but it seems more real than progressivism. So. In order to give progressivism a true future, I think we need to invest time and energy in building that philosophical basis, and we need to do it now. And particularly now to 2020, even 2022. That will be how progressivism will win the day. Keep up the great work. Goodbye.